Okay, today is March 17th, 2023, and I'm going to give you guys a quick a random update on my hydroponic systems. Uh, a few people have wondered what I have been doing and how come I haven't uploaded any videos about hydroponic. And that is because I haven't uh, done much <laughs> in the past few months. But I have been working with these hydro systems here, the little ones. And uh, just preparing things for the spring so that I can bring my pepper plants outside. And so uh, I am doing propagation, also growing... Um, mini systems hydroponic plants right there those are my peppers and you see that purple plant right there that is an apple tree and so i grew a few apple from seeds and uh you know i dug this one out of the ground and i placed it into the mini system and man this thing is this thing is growing like so crazy like every day you can actually see that it grew a little bit and now it's like outside of the system and so initially it was about the size of these peppers right here but then it just just outgrew everything else and and you know i can't move the light up fast enough and so now it's, it's growing outside the light so i need to put that one somewhere else but um let me show you what the uh the plants uh that started at the same time look like in soil and then you can see there is just a dramatic difference i mean there's all kinds of different reasons why this one grow faster of course there's always nutrients available but also it's in a space on its own and also it's it's nice and warm inside and it's not competing for space so let's go outside and i'll show you those plants okay here are the apples that i, I grew from seed you see i just dropped a whole bunch of them and uh, it's really interesting because some turn purple and some remain green. These are all cosmic apples and I'm not sure why the leaves are different. But yeah, see, I just drop a bunch of seeds into <laughs> this little container and then it grew and then I pulled one out and I put it into um, my hydro system and uh, a few weeks ago. And then look at this. You see the size is just so much different. And so uh, yeah, hydro system grows fruits pretty well i mean you can't do it for a long time because uh you're gonna run out of space so uh yeah let's go take a look back inside okay we are back and so you see the difference in the growth is just so crazy and um, this thing grows so fast i mean look at this look the the size is just you mean you can't even compare and then i have my uh pepper plants here a few of them so, uh, you know, I'm squeezing them all together and just basically just trying to uh, grow them a little bit more until the warm weather gets here. And then I'm going to take these outside. So I have two types of uh, hydroponic systems going on here. Uh, one is the mini system and the other one is uh, it's sort of like a hybrid system. So let me show you. I started these with uh, in soil. If you watch... Um, my video on my whiskey bottle uh, peppers uh, it's basically the same I started these plants uh, in a little cup it's an, it's enclosed you see that there's a lid on top and then I have a straw the straw goes all the way to the bottom and the reason for that is when you grow them in an enclosed area like this and it's not very big what happens is when the plants grow really really large it sends out so much roots that it begins to compact the uh, the environment, the, the, the cup. So it will get really compacted because there's so much root in there. It is just push the soil against, uh, you know, the walls. And then, you know, when you water, it's very difficult. And so the straw allows me to feed the nutrients or, or water directly to the very bottom of the, of the, of the cup. And this forces the plant to put lots and lots of roots further down to, um, to try to get to the nutrients and the water. And it creates a really strong base for the plant. So it works pretty well. And uh, so usually what I would do is, it, it, uh, you know, I will feed it through the, the straw. Sometimes I use hydroponic nutrients. Sometimes I just put uh, worm casting into a, a bottle of water, shake it up, and I feed it that way. So if you want it organic, you can do worm casting and uh, just mix it up with the water. 
and just water it. Uh, if you want to do hydroponic, it works well as well. Just put hydroponic solution into the straw and uh, it'll feed the plant from the bottom. And now it started to flower. There's a lot of flowers already, you see? So it's pretty soon I'm going to get fruit for this. So I start trimming because it got so bushy and, you know, just things are all over the place. So I started trimming to get the bottom layer all bare that way it's easy to work with and also the less uh, the less leaves there are the less watering you have to do uh, the more leaves is just you know is is the same as everything you know the the more uh, foliage is just requires more water and there's another one that i'm doing right here and then on top of that i'm propagating figs so i bought these figs um off of uh etsy so I have Desert King here, um, white, uh, actually the black Madeira. I've been looking for those forever and I couldn't get them. So I just, you know, just went online and buy them. Okay, so uh, let me show you another um, pepper hydroponic that I'm doing. There it is. That is my white tie crossed with the sweet queenie. This thing is going to be very interesting. So I want to, I really wanted to see how this turned, uh, turns out because last year I grew the sweet queenie is no heat is very, very beautiful and produce a ton of peppers with so many different colors. It's just gorgeous. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just cross a white tie with it because it was sitting next to it. <laughs> and so that's what, uh, the, that's what the result is. So we'll see how, how that would turn out. I'm just growing that in a little mini arrow garden and then i'm starting new seeds right there that's my uh starata hornet and then i have some some pumpkins back there i think uh let's see oh actually vicious peach that's uh seeds from our friend bill um that's gonna be something very special so i'm gonna take good care of it and let's see if you want to see uh see here's uh, see the peppers are already producing flowers these are really easy to maintain the only problem is uh, it's so small that you have to water constantly but it's very fun so it's a nice project to do also if you have kids uh, they, they'll love it too just give them one plant uh, or two plants and then you guys grow it together and do some competition and then I am also propagating lemongrass. I love lemongrass. I just love the smell. And I have exper been experimenting with lemongrass for the past few years. Basically what I do is I grow one bush right next to my pepper plant and see, uh, you know, it, the, it can reduce, uh, you know, the, the bugs. And it's, so far it's been working. I can't confirm 100% that is the case, but anytime I grow a lemongrass bush right next to my pepper plant, the bugs don't really bother that plant too much because lemongrass sends out a really strong smell. It's, it's good to us, but I think the bugs don't like it. And then I'm also propagating uh, basil, Thai basil back there. And so uh, let me sh let me see if I can get through to it so I can show you. So the way I propagate uh, basil is I just put it in water and it will root and I would just leave it in water and I just keep refilling if it gets empty. Just water only, no need to do anything else. There's more lemongrass back there. And so it will stay that way and alive for like months. I mean, I think the, this one here has been sitting there for three months already, just water alone. And uh, you notice because there's only water alone, the leaves are gonna turn yellow. That's, that's okay, don't worry about it. Uh, as soon as the weather gets warm, you put it outside in the garden where it gets actual nutrients, it's gonna start to turn green and shoot out lots and lots of uh, leaves. And so um, every season by the, by the very end of the season, I'll cut like a branch off of my basil or sometimes my Cuban oregano and all the anything I want to save. I put it in water and then f five, six months later, it's still in water. And then I'll take it outside the next year and then put it in the ground. And so you can do that perpetually and save the, the same plant and it will grow for years and years and years. And so I've done that for for a while. So anyway, that is the update. Uh, it's a it's um 
it's a lot going on right here with little stuff <laughs> apple tree I've, I've grown pear trees in this system before and uh, it it does crazy growth and it's just amazing so uh, if you haven't had a chance to grow fruit trees in hydroponic try it it's grow it will grow very very fast in the beginning but eventually it will run out of space so that is the drawback to growing fruit tree in hydroponic you just you're not going to have big enough space for the fruit tree so uh that's it guys thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe